Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. Some of you today are discouraged because you have come by grace through faith to love the Lord Jesus Christ. You truly have been justified and born again. And for the first time, not only have you been born again, but you are coming into sound biblical doctrine. You're coming into the faith once and for all, passed down to the saints. You're beginning to see the Scripture with new eyes. You're beginning to understand the gospel and the law of God and what He calls us to in this glorious vision, clearer than you ever have before. And with that, you have gone back to your life. And with faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and reliance on the power and the grace of the Spirit, you have sought to grow in holiness, to be further sanctified, to wage war on sin. And you know what happened? Things got worse. All of this revelation, all of this grace, all of this joy, this joy in Christ, this is it. You're like the man who found a field where a treasure was buried and he went and sold everything he had to buy that field. Not because that field was worth his whole estate, but that field had a treasure buried there that was worth more than all he possessed. And you're like that man. You sold everything you had and you ran and you bought the field and now you own it and the treasure is buried there and you're excited and all of a sudden your life has gotten worse rather than improving. There's more conflict in your marriage, not less. Your parenting has gotten harder, not easier. That is not a sign of a lack of sanctification and therefore the absence of justification. Brothers and sisters, take hope and be encouraged today. That is a sign that you are being sanctified and you most certainly have been justified. The difference is, why is my life harder if I'm really a follower of Jesus? The difference is for the first time in your life, you entered the fray, you entered the war, you signed up for battle. Why did you never have tough times or difficulty? Because you were following Satan, the prince of this air. Because you were going downstream. It's not hard to paddle downstream. In fact, you don't have to paddle at all. You can put the paddles in the boat, lay down, and take a nap. But if you want to go upstream, whew, get ready for some turbulence. Get ready for resistance. Get ready for war. But Christ does not call men into battle. And then once they join, abandon them there. Christ is with you. He promised, I will not leave you as orphans, but I will send the Holy Spirit to you so that we have two advocates as Christians. One, the God-man Christ Jesus, an advocate with the Father, and two, the Holy Spirit, the helper, the comforter, an advocate with us. He said, lo, I will be with you always, even to the ends of the age. Yeah, it's hard. War is hard. But our commander-in-chief our great general in the faith. He doesn't just send us out to battle, but he fights with us. He leads the troops, and he will not let any of his own fall ultimately on the battlefield. He will make sure no good man is left behind. Big news, really big news. Our next Right Response Conference is in the works. We've got a number of things already lined up and organized. This is what we've got so far. The whole conference, three days long, on postmillennialism and theonomy. And the speakers, Dr. James White, Dr. Joseph Boot, Gary DeMar, and of course yours truly, Pastor Joel Webbin. We've got a great lineup. We've got great topics. If you want to find out dates and location, and registration, and anything else, go and visit our website, rightresponseconference.com, rightresponseconference.com.